This is Eastdale Secondary School. Our focus is to capture the wind to generate electricity. Wind is a renewable resource. We can use this to meet our increasing demands for electricity. One way to capture the energy of the wind is with a windmill. What happens is, as the wind blows, it causes the blades of the windmill to turn. This spins a generator. The generator converts the rotational energy of the blades into electrical energy. Now we didn't want to use this style of blade, so instead we went for a slightly different style. This is called a Savonius turbine. Uh, the advantage of the Savonius turbine is as the wind blows through, it gets trapped in the blades and also recycles. The advantage of this type of a design is the vertical axis allows us to get the maximum amount of torque available. Another great advantage of the Savonius blades are how easy they are to make. Basically, it's a cylinder cut in half and offset. Anyone can be able to do this. The Savonius turbine can be made from all sorts of recycled materials, barrels, PVC pipes, even sono tubes. Any kind of cylinder can be cut in half and offset. A problem with the Savonius turbine is that it doesn't spin very fast. So if we hooked it straight up to the generator, it's not gonna be good. What we need to do is use a system of pulleys to increase the speed. Because we have so much torque, we can trade that torque for speed. More speed, more electricity. As an example of how we applied this, we took a large pulley down to a small pulley. This increased our speed at the cost of torque. The thing is, by doing this twice or more, we multiply our speed. So now we have the two parts of our windmill, the blades and the transmission. By putting these two things together, we had a blueprint for our design. Of course, it takes a team to put a windmill together. We had Kevin, Kara, Deanna, Lenny, and our staff advisor, Mr. Dorinzi. We're looking forward to seeing you at this year's Wind Edge competition.